Welcome back to Midwest Magnum. I'm Kurt. I'm Wes. Last week we did a review on the Canic Rival SFX. This week we've got another Canic. Uh, today we're doing the uh, SFX Meta Pro and 9mm, of course. We're going to put some rounds through that and let you know what we think of the uh, SFX Meta Pro. I love the Canic trigger. Wow. Today's review is brought to you by Central Arms. Central Arms offers retail gun sales focusing on special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they are awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. The Canic Meta SFX semi-auto pistol is loaded with high performance at a shocking value. Canic offers some of the most popular custom modifications on pistols direct from the factory in this awesome package. You'll notice the frame starting off with an ergonomic grip, interchangeable back straps, redesigned beaver tail, flared internal magwell, improved single action trigger, an adjustable length reversible magazine catch, an integral accessory rail for adding a light or laser, and an extended slide stop. On the top, the Meta SFX is topped off with front and rear cocking serrations, an optics ready slide, lightning cut slide three dot white sights, and a striker status indicator. In the case, you'll receive one 20 round magazine, one 18 round magazine, two red dot mounting plates, a polymer holster with belt paddle adjustments, and a cleaning rod and brush. The Canic SFX Meta Pro is a striker fired nine millimeter semi-automatic. Its barrel length is 5.74 inches with an overall length of 8.29 inches. The overall weight is 30.1 ounces and it has a capacity of 18 plus one or 20 plus one. It is optic ready and has fixed front and rear sights. Our scoring system consists of three components, construct, performance, and maintenance, each having three additional subcomponents with each of these subcomponents evaluated at 33.3%. The scores are then tallied up and divided by three for an overall rating. Midwest Magnum considers any score above 85% to be a quality firearm. As you can see, the Canic SFX Meta Pro scored a 96% with an overall A rating. So another fun day at the range. Uh, we've got the Canic SFX Meta Pro. I don't know that there was a heck of a lot of difference between that and the Rival. Yeah, not really. I mean, they're Both so amazing. pretty similar. Um, yeah. I mean, a couple different options on this one. You get the threaded barrel, which you can see I got a uh, ported comp on there. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, like the last one, they just it shoots great. Yeah. Another fantastic trigger. I mean, that reset is minimal. Minimal reset, minimal break. Yeah. I mean, that's, you just can't go wrong with Canis trigger. Like I was telling Kurt when uh, we got, got here. The medium mag release. Yeah, the medium on, on that as well. Um, like I was telling Kurt, I tried to justify getting, doing a trigger upgrade on it. So the one day I was just, you know, just kept racking it and just feeling the trigger and the reset. And it's just so nice. I honestly can't even justify spending yeah. the money on a uh, trigger upgrade. You, you don't need to. I mean, it is the nicest trigger. It, it feels a lot like the rival. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know that there's much difference. I, I couldn't right off the bat, like if you blindfolded me to shoot, which would be a good idea. <laughs> If you were to blindfold me, it'd be and like every me, day shooting. Yeah, pretty much with these <laughs> eyes. Um, I don't know. I could tell the difference, honestly. Now, when you do the upgrades to that rival, you will definitely feel the the difference. 
you oh, wait, some up there's more. Oh, oh, the same upgrade is on the rival. I got the uh, brass uh, magwell brass back strap. I got a couple mags with brass uh, four plus for the extra weight. That is it's heavy. supposed to balance it off a lot better. Cool. Uh, put some weight due to the polymer frame. It's supposed to put some of the weight back in your uh, grip. So it's got the same great ergonomics, the same great grip. Uh, everything is. It's honestly, I really couldn't tell much a difference between the SFX Meta Pro and the Rival. Um, it's just a great gun. I, you know, the one beautiful thing about doing this video is now you get to add all the bling on it. You get to do all your upgrades that you <laughs> said is killing you not to be able to do. So, right. Um, and we'll have that in a future video of all the upgrades and what a difference it makes because. I, I would say that that um, weighted backstrap is probably going to help balance the gun a little more because these are not small guns, you know, it, but it's definitely it's, front heavy. It is front heavy, um, not horribly front heavy. But then again, I mean, that, you know, that works a little bit to your advantage in right. recoil, Agreed. In recoil management. So, but it's a, I liked it. I honestly, if you, if they were the same price, now, what was the price difference between these two? Hundred bucks. Actually, my wife got me that for Christmas. So I okay. don't know. So I, I think that it might be a hundred. Maybe a hundred dollars. Yeah, don't quote me on that. I'd have to look. But um, honestly, you gave me either one. I'd, I'd be thrilled with them. And yeah. If I got to choose, just because of the bling on that rival, <laughs> and have that be my pimp gun, uh, I'd probably go with the rival. But I see. An, F an SFX and meta in my future mm -hmm. because that is just a really, really nice gun. And I'm really curious to get that SFT out. Yeah. Because that's the SFT Meta Pro instead of the SFX. So I'm curious to get that out because I haven't shot that yet and uh, see what the difference is. And it's same, like, is it going to be as similar? Yeah. I mean, quality wise, I mean. Well, you know, what's really going to be crazy is when we have the. Um, TTI combats come in. <laughs> yeah. What's, what is, cause everybody I, I've heard has said that that's completely different than any others, even better than any of the other canics. Right. And yeah, they do have a tier step up as you go from like the TP nine DA up to the SFX, up to the elite. And then you got the rivals and the meta pros there. But I mean, is know, it going to be that much to where it's a $300 upgrade? I don't know. It's going to be hard. Be, I mean, and, and that's our goal at the end of this video series of all the canics is we want to let you know, is there a big difference between these guns that would warrant the price difference? Cause I mean, some of those TTIs are selling on Gunbroker for 1200 bucks. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Same with the rival S, which was my original next one that I wanted. Um, pretty bad and talked myself out of it three or four times but due to the steel frame supposed to be balanced pretty good but i think i'm going to accomplish that with what i'm doing yeah so i mean yep. will i get it in the future hey you never know what's the well and another great thing that wes was bringing up earlier and we forgot to mention on last <clears throat> week's video is the mags are all interchangeable yep. as long as you know, for example, I couldn't take my TP9DA and put it in the Meta Pro because it's 15 plus one. It wouldn't wouldn't go all the way up. But you could use these on my TP9DA. There's majority of the canics, as long as you've got the same size, the same round capacity or more, you can interchange magazines, which is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Because you you buy five of these, and now you've got five mags for every canic you have. Right. Well, and, and yeah, it's just so smart on their part. And it makes me like the Canic brand even more that they do that and things are interchangeable. I mean, same with the Meta and the Rival. I mean, the back straps are the same. The magwells are the same. So like if I wanted to, I could put the gold on this or, you know, vice versa. Or, yep. It's just. You might not like it on the Rival and so you swap them out. It's, it, it's, it's anti-Apple. So. You know, Apple has this <laughs> proprietary strategy that you have to get everything, everything Apple. Right. Um, a lot of the gun manufacturers are the same way. Canic got smart, and that's why I think outside of their great quality and amazing triggers, I still say 
my personal opinion, best triggers on the market I agree. for the price and probably even up levels in some of the, the um, other higher end pistols, but they're, they're doing it right. I mean, the fact that you can interchange like that makes me love Canix. Like that makes me want to get different models of Canix right. because how many times have we, you know, you got to find these magazines and when you finally find them, they're 50 bucks a piece. Yeah. And yep. you're spending 200 bucks to get four of them. These, I think I saw them last time for like 30, 35 bucks. Yes. And with them being interchangeable, like with the Rival and the Meta, I got two mags with them. And I think I bought an extra one each time I purchased it. Plus, I think I bought, let's see how many I got laying over there. Plus, so I got two or three for each, plus like four additional. Yeah. So, I mean, I can load my mags and go out and have a heck of a range day without e even reloading. Yeah, no, that makes it great. And, they're, and that's for either one. I can use them for either the Rival or the Meta. Yep. Yeah, and that's that's awesome. And the other thing that Canix really stepping up is almost all their all their packages now come with an amazing case. They've got these cutouts for mm -hmm. the magazines. They can come with a, a holster. I mean, they really hook you up with a lot of stuff in that package, and it just makes it a great deal. And the other thing too, not only the magazines, but the holsters yeah. are all interchangeable. Uh, most of to them. To an extent. I don't yeah, most think of them. these will fit on the rival or maybe they will, maybe they would before I did the. Well, like I can use the same holster for my TP9DA that I could for the SFX. Um, so yeah, I mean, you, when you step up in size, probably not, but like, Typically, there a lot of them do interchange. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I just I was, think they're they're really knocking it out of the park with how great their guns are, how great their triggers are, the whole package you get, the interchangeability. It just makes it a great, great value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So, so the whole and I feel bad we're doing this video and the whole time instead of looking at the camera, I'm just staring at my gun like oh, I love that thing. He's in love. So, so it I is. Mean, it's, it's awesome. It's hard. It would be hard to pick between the meta and the rival. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of like them both for different reasons. And it's probably more aesthetics than anything like, like this, because yep. I got a lot of black pistols and I like the rival because it's got a little bling on it. Yeah. When we do our final wrap up video on the Canic series, we will have a comparison between the prices and everything and on how, related they are you know how similar they are right um which hopefully will help if you're looking to get a canic to get the right gun in the right budget so not overspend for something for example save 100 bucks going from the rival maybe to the sfx meta pro mm -hmm. we don't know yet we haven't done all of the that all of the videos but um our next video is going to be the sft meta pro and um It'll be interesting to see then after that when the TTI combats come in, if right. there is a big difference in those. Right. So we'll have five or six of the canics that we'll be able to compare and show you progressively what the differences are and what the price tags are and, and how similar they are. But I can tell you right now, I can't imagine a single one of those five or six where the trigger doesn't blow every other trigger in the market away. Agreed. I'm more interested in how does it feel? How does it shoot? And it's just like the rival, great ergonomics, easy to break down, easy to clean, mm -hmm. very accurate, very somewhat very balanced. It is a little front heavy, but just another absolute. So I think that's with any polymer. Yeah. I think you're going to get that. And just another absolute home run from Canic. I just, how far they've come in a couple of years is just amazing. Mm -hmm. They've gone from a, what people perceive as a crappy Turkish pistol to, or not heard of pistol yeah, in my when we first when I first bought the TP9 DA they gave me a bunch of crap for it so what, what the heck it, is a canic what is a canic oh it's a turkish <laughs> piece of crap and as soon as they felt the trigger that all changed and now i find out that Matt and Wes are buying meta pros and rivals <laughs> and and we have three combats coming in which if the combat wasn't so hard to find right now they're coming out with a second production. Um, from what I understand, they TTI and and Canic did a a certain production level, and it was such a hit. It shot at um, 
SHOT Show that it sold out and they had to go back into reproduction. So now they're coming out with a second series or a second production of the gun, which is going to be out on April 22nd, I believe the, the um, distributors have said they can get. And we've got three of them ordered. If we weren't worried about those running out or having to spend $1,000 instead of, you know, 800 then we probably should have just bought one and, see, you know, do we like it? And then we all get them. But from, pretty what, sure we'll like it. from what people have said, the TTI is amazing. So we're looking forward to that. Absolutely. And, um, you know, it's got the Canic trigger. If yeah. they haven't changed the trigger, it's going to be I heard it's gun. better. I don't know how it could be. I don't be. know. That's, I don't know how it could be. That's kind of why I'm spending the money on yeah. it. I just want to see if it is. Yeah, I know. So, which is not a very smart financial decision, but either way. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. It's worth it every penny. So if you haven't done so, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the alerts, leave some comments and check back real soon. We hope to have our next video up in a week or so. Um, reviewing the Canic SFT Meta Pro. So thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next video. And everybody can leave their comments about us saying Meta wrong because I know that's not the proper way to say it, but that's how we say it. So, well, we joke around about meat, right? I could say the meat, but you know, whatever it so, is, what it is. Our proper English isn't here tonight, but either way, leave your comments and thanks again. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the alerts so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And by the way, that logo right there, you can click that to subscribe. So show us how good your aim is. That logo right there, that one. Go ahead, click it.